Okay, this how-to video is going to describe a new feature that's available in the Allegro PCB Designer with design planning option. Um, so we would need at least that license level. So if we go to the file change editor, I've got an Allegro PCB Designer license plus the design planning option. So in this instance, I've, I've got a, a couple of byte lanes here and I maybe need to route from kind of my FPGA down to my connector. Um, and the normal sequence is I'd probably start manually routing here. I might use some of the group routing techniques. I route it up to kind of this kind of area and then I think, oh right, I need to do some swaps there, maybe make some changes. So I then make the swaps, reroute. And it's a kind of a bit of a, a, a to and fro situation where you're kind of routing from one end and, and then making the swaps necessary or, or swapping tracks around, rerouting from a different escape plan. Now using something called the Auto Interactive Breakout Technology or the AIBT command will give me the ability to, to use flow planning so we can obviously have the flow line that's been around in the Allegro license for quite a, for quite a long time now um, so obviously I've got a bundle here broken out of all those individual connections and then what I want to do is I want to convert this kind of flow line here into into individual C line segments or root points and route out from kind of the connector to this kind of gather point this gather point indicated by the line here that would show me you know how I'm going to break out of this this kind of connector so what we'll do is first of all we'll we'll enable the the split view so I can now see both ends of the of the flow line relatively easy and quickly and then using the the planning mode or the flow planning mode so IFP will go into the IFP mode I can basically I can window select the two bundles that I have right mouse button and I've got some some new commands. I've got the the auto interactive breakout commands here, and I've also got some sequence commands. So we'll do the auto interactive breakout. We can break out either the closest end, which would be the closest end to the mouse, or I could break out both ends. So we'll just go for the the both end breakout. So relatively quickly, you can see it's broken out of the connector and it's broken out of the FPGA without any crossovers so I could effectively successfully know that I could then convert this this flow line here I could use the root trunk and go and route that and make a point-to-point -point connection without any DRC errors now the other thing that AIBT has also given me is something called the, the sequence so you know being a PCB designer everybody wants to maybe tweak things so I might specifically want to bring this track down the outside of this one um, so I could either manually just go into the add connect command and route this down to the gather point or I can use some of the resequence commands. So if we hover over the, the bundle again, I've got some, some sequence commands and I can edit the sequence. So I then look and let's, let's say that's the track that I want to swap. I get a highlight and it highlights in both windows so I can see what's going to happen. If I was to swap these two over, yeah, this track could kind of route around the top. This one's just going to kind of route straight again. That's going to simplify what I need. I've got the same instance here. Maybe I want, to, I want to swap these two. So let's just set those two to set that sequence. And again, same scenario. That's going to bring this track down the inside and probably tidy up the routing and give me a better escape strategy coming out of the connector end of the of the BGA. So we'll just accept that sequence and then we'll just rerun the flow. That's just swap those two. That's made a really good job of that. I'm happy with that. So I can then look at converting this. So let's go and route the trunk effectively, go and do the point to point from here up to here and work your way out based on the track and gap spacings that you've got set from a constraint manager rule point of view. So that's finished that. Let's just turn the flow line off. We can kind of see we've got a routed trunk. All the tracks are there routed. These are C-line segments, so we can then go and, and if we needed to run something like AIDT to get the timing correct on this byte lane, and we're moving on.